Asalaamu As Alaikum guys, Ramadan Mubarak. Welcome back to Seeking of Vlogs and welcome to today's episode of Ramadan Diaries. Before I go any further, I would like to start with this verse of the Quran where Allah says, There are those who, when they spend, do so not excessively or sparingly, but rather are moderate in between them. And also in a hadith, when Prophet Sallallahu said, Verily, this wealth is green and sweet. So whoever receives it with a cheerful heart will be blessed in it, but whoever receives it with a greedy heart will not be blessed in it, for he will be like one who eats without being satisfied. The upper hand that gives is better than the lower hand that takes. Alright guys, from this verse and this hadith, it is apparent that Allah loves those who are contented and he loves those who are satisfied with whatever he has given them. So I was watching a video that triggered um, some thoughts in my mind and well, the, what the person was trying to do was he was trying to open our minds to the reality to like let us see. He was trying to beg us to see the reality of all these industries the movie industry beauty industry technology industry you know all those in industries that live off us you know i was like he's really saying the truth and we have been blinded by our urge for validation you know that something that is so apparent is difficult for us to see. While some of us have everything we need, some of us have everything, everything we could ever dream of. The wealth, the looks, the love and attention, the resources, you name it, everything, anything. But most of us lack something, just one thing. And because of that one thing, just one thing, we feel like we don't have enough. We feel the need to overexert ourselves to get more and more and more. We are always wanting more. We never get satisfied or even feel happy with what we have. That one thing, that one feeling is nothing but contentment. Some of us are so blessed by Allah to the point that we have never ever experienced real hardship. Not having food to eat or seeing people with things that you could never imagine or seeing people with clothes that you could never ever have or seeing people having the basic necessities that you could never ever dream of having not having the means to pursue our education we've never experienced that right we went to the latest schools wore the latest trends um used the latest phones we only got the best right we only got the best as far as our parents could afford it. We were so blessed that everything, anything we wanted, anything we want, will be provided for us on a platter of gold. But then, why are we not satisfied? Why don't we feel blessed or happy or contented? And we, we never feel like we have enough. We are always complaining about that one thing that we don't have, whereas there are thousands of things that we have. Have you ever thought about why it is really easy, why it is quite easy for us to feel not contented these days? Well, one of the main reasons is because of social media. With social media, we are always bombarded with pictures and videos of people having things that are better than ours. We don't feel beautiful enough because the beauty industry are always trying, they are always striving to, produ to produce things that will make us feel more beautiful than the way Allah created us. And because of that, we are always at the mercy of beauty industry. We have literally, in fact, we have technically turned to their slaves. Yes, believe it or not, they are our masters because we are always trying, we are always competing to service them with our money in exchange for their products, with our money in exchange for a modified look. And since they are making money off us, I honestly don't see them stopping anytime soon. We are always going to keep buying things that will make us look more and more and more beautiful. 
our lack of contentment and lack of satisfaction right has reached that extent that let's say for example with iphone in vogue now even if you have iphone 12 pro max when iphone 13 is released you suddenly feel like you're using something outdated you know that feeling mind you i'm not trying i'm not speaking against getting the best i'm just trying to encourage us to see the bigger picture i'm trying to encourage us to learn how to tell ourselves no sometimes if you have the money all the best go for it but please let's not forget the people around us your family members that money you use to um satisfy your undying thirst for validation you could use it that money to secure your jenna think deep and hard there is always something you could use that money for there are people like this this and this that will always be forever grateful to you for spending that money on them i mean our test for validation will never die with it because there will always be someone better than you there will always be something better than what you have there will always be something better than what you could ever imagine does that mean that we'll always be unhappy and unsatisfied always striving to be the ones better than anyone else let's take a moment to think and really decide if that is what we want for ourselves the feeling of always being um, unsatisfied or unhappy or not contented that void will never be filled up that void here yeah, it will never be filled up with getting more and more materialistic things or getting more and more beautiful the only way to fill that void up is when you turn to Allah let's remember what Allah says only in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find peace all right guys I guess all I'm trying to say is let's try let's strive let's aim to learn how to tell ourselves no because if we follow our hearts there is a higher chance a very high possibility of us going down the wrong path let's think of those that have started say um plastic surgery they never get contented when they start with their eyes then they look into the mirror and see something is wrong with their nose and then the next thing they've booked uh, an appointment for nose surgery after their nose and then something is wrong with their mouth and then they've booked the next appointment to adjust their lips or you know and you can never please people let's get that into our head we can never ever please people so whatever you have However God created you, that's the best you could ever be. You know, that's the best you could ever be. So there is no end of chasing validation, no end. If that's what your goal is, then you should really think, take a moment to reflect and decide if following your whims and desires is what you want or if what you want is to be the talk of the town you can never be the talk of the town forever all those celebrities once upon a time it was michael jackson that was reigning but now probably they do and then next who knows so let's really try to be moderate in whatever we do that's all for the day guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share so that we can get as much reward as we can let's leave it there Assalamu alaikum.